Mr. Brown. Good evening, Gladys. Hello. Oh. Here we'll get me shot, then, for her ladyship. Oh, she won't miss one. Oh. Is the old dragon in? Yes, the old dragon is. Oh. <laughs> evening. I'll take that. Oh, are we economising on biscuits, Gladys? I'll get you some more. I don't think she likes me. She doesn't like anybody. Oh, by the way, many happy returns of the day. How did you know it was my birthday? I saw your date of birth last week in her ladyship's ledger. Accidentally, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, haven't told anybody else it's my birthday, have uh, you? No, not a soul. Oh, good. Please, teacher, come in. Ah, good evening. Ready? I'm spy. Try. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. that nice. <laughs> Hadn't told a soul, eh? Well, I might have mentioned it to one or two people. <laughs> well, thank you all for your good wishes. You are wanting to show our appreciation. Well, it's very kind of you. And we are all buying you a little present. What? Yeah, yeah you shouldn't have. But we already have. Yeah. May your shadow never diminish. <laughs> oh, thank you. Can I open it now? Yes, please. It is something for you to be using every day. Oh, a pen. Very nice. It is what you are calling a waterfall pen. <laughs> a waterfall pen? That is correct. Ah, oh, you mean a fountain pen. A thousand apologies for my ignorance. <laughs> Excuse me. What for you buy a pen? For birthday. I buy the pen. I'm not knowing what you are buying. Well, you take your pen and change for something else. No, it is you who must be changing. Teacher prefer my pen. How you know? <laughs> Mr. Brown, my pen is much better. It writes underwater. Oh, I'm sure that's very useful. <laughs> my pen writes in different colors. Yeah, well, I tell you what, I'll take both pens. I mean, after all, two pens are better than one. All right. Excuse. Please, oh. sir. Yes, Terry. Oh. <laughs> Three pencil. Better. Than two. <laughs> you haven't. Yes. Yeah, well, I tell you what, rather than show any preference, I think it'd be a good idea if you all uh, exchanged your pens for something else. Yeah? But thank you, anyway. Thank you. Right, Wendy. Por favor. Yes, Juan. Felicidades en su cumpleaños. Por favor. Uh, pardon? <laughs> Happy Born Day. Birthday. <laughs> sí, sí. Oh, thank you. Wonder yes. what this is. Pluma. Estilográfica. Yeah? What's that? Pen. <laughs> oh dear. I change. Yeah, I think so. Sorry. But thank you. Happy birthday, professori. Thank you, Giovanni. For you. <laughs> well, at least it's not a pen. It's a salami, much garlic, very strong. Yeah, I can smell that. <laughs> thank you. Quiz, please. Many happy returnings. Thank you, Ellie. I'm buying for you. Nothing at all. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. But I'm giving you this. Oh, a card? Oh, no. Inside, you will be finding a gift voucher from Arids. Arids? Oh, yes, please. And you can be buying anything whatsoever you are wishing. Anything? Yes. From Harrods of Knightsbridge? You no, know, please. Harrods of Camden. <laughs> Abraham at a second-hand shop. Nothing over one pound. <laughs> well, thank you, Ali. Master Ji, you have a birthday Yes, Jamila. Uh, happy. Uh, happy, yes. Hanji, birthday. Well done. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. Very nice. <laughs> Holly. Holly. Huh? Holly. Oh, holy. <laughs> Born by Guy. Guy? What, a, a holy monk? No, Guy. Mm. <laughs> oh, holy cow. Oh, I do that. <laughs> now it is my turn to give you something. Yes, Daniel. <laughs> but first, I wish you happy birthday as we do in France. Quiet, quiet. 
thank you, uh, thank you, Daniel. Oh, um, and I have something very French. Oh, thank you. Oh, eau de toilette. Merci beaucoup. Je vous en prie. It is a pleasure for me to give you something. Excuse, please. What is the nature of the gift you are receiving from Daniel? Eau de toilette. Toilet water. You put it on your face. <laughs> you are putting water from the toilet on your face? <laughs> no, Ali, it's not that kind of toilet. Very <laughs> good. May the spirit of universal brotherhood descend upon you. Well, I'm sure it will. <laughs> hope to lead every day. Oh, I hope it's a good read. The best. Thoughts of Chairman Mao. <laughs> Very uplift, uh, lifting. Personary autograph. By Mao? By me. <laughs> now is me. Yes, Anna. I have made for you a grosser apple strudel. It's very grosser. Danke. Bitter. Well, uh, thank you all for your generous gifts. Uh, uh, but I really think we ought to get on with the lesson. Now, this week we're going to look at the vowel sounds, right? Now, does anybody know what a vowel sound is? Yes, please. It is a rumbling tummy. <laughs> Well, vowel, not bowel. <laughs> Sorry, please. Right, well, there are five vowels in the alphabet. A, E, I, O, and U. A, E, I, O, U. Good. Now, firstly, we'll take the letter A. Now, this can be pronounced in three different ways. It can be A, A, or A. A, A, or A. Excuse me. Yes, Max. Uh, I am not understanding. Uh, how can an A be an R? <laughs> it's not the letter R. It's sometimes pronounced R. Anayamu, what language? <laughs> it's all right. I'll give you some examples. Let us take the word F-A-T. Now, that has a flat A sound. <laughs> ah. 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 Good. But if we add an E to the end of fat, then what do we have? Fatty. <laughs> no, Giovanni, fate. Now, does anybody know what the word fate means? Por favor. Yes, Juan. Two fate. Two fate? Si, senor. One right fate, <laughs> one left fate. <laughs> no, Juan, those are feet. Ah, perdón. Right, moving on to the E. Now, the letter E is usually pronounced E, as in e. bet, set, get. get. There are, of course, exceptions to the rule. For example, F E T E is also pronounced fate. Si, senor. One red fate. One red No, one. No. 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 Our feet, I told you before. It's all right, it's all right. Right. Moving on to the letter I. This is usually pronounced I or I. 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 Good. Now, can anybody give me an example of the I sound? I. Well, how would you pronounce F I T? Feet! She's <laughs> One right feet, one left feet. No, no? <laughs> yeah, imbecile. Yo imbecile? Imbecile tu! Yeah. Italian idiota! No, la capitana! Yeah, 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 If you yeah, want to point. argue, argue in English. Go back to Italy, you Italian spaghetti! Ah, shut up! <laughs> you big Spanish omelette! <laughs> Excuse me, her ladyship wants to see you in the office. Oh, thank you, Gladys. I'll be in in a moment. Yes, all right. Hey, maybe she's gonna get you a birthday present. Uh, yes, and maybe the Pope's getting married. <laughs> he is? <laughs> I never read that. No, it was a joke. Look, I'll be as quick as I can. Meanwhile, if you'll all turn to page 83 and study the sentences giving examples of the various vowel sounds. Yeah? Uh, Giovanni, would you take charge of the class while I'm away? Sure. Yeah. Uh, allow me. Thank you. OK, I'm in charge. <laughs> Who wants a Davina? <laughs> Enter. You wanted to see me, Miss Courtney? Yes. Oh, I understand it's your birthday. That's correct. Another milestone? Personally, I don't believe in celebrating birthdays. I fail to see how the passing of years can be an occasion for rejoicing. 
No, of course, you're right, I suppose. Now, Mr. Brown, when you commenced teaching here, I said that I would give you a month's trial. Yes. Well, that month is now up, and I think it only fair to put an end to your worry about the future. Well, that's very kind of you. I can assure you, you won't regret it. I know I won't. Miss Hardacre will start on Wednesday. Miss Hardacre? Yes. She will be taking over your class. You remember I did tell you that I prefer women teachers. You mean I've got the push? Well, let us just say that we no longer require your services. I feel that Miss Hardacre will be much more suitable. Yeah, well, in that case, I suggest you get Miss much more suitable Hardacre to take over tonight, because I'm going home. You can't just walk out like that. Oh, yes, I can. And I won't say it's been a pleasure, because it hasn't. All I can say is... In India, you'd be sacred. <laughs> Okay, I stick. <laughs> Pontoon, five cards, stick only. What you got? Queen of Hearts, Joker Spades. Uh. Hearts, Joker Spades. Uh. Okay, you should not be playing the cards. You should be learning the English. Zig Heil! That is right. You should be improving your mind. You can improve my mind anytime. <laughs> How about tonight, huh? We have the meal, a couple of glasses of vino, then back to my place to make a love. That is not improving the mind. No, but it's, it's very good for the body. <laughs> hey, teacher's coming. Oh. Right, uh, will you all pay attention, please? I have something rather important to tell you. I'm afraid that Miss Courtney has terminated my engagement. It is a very big surprise to me. Yeah, well, it was a bit of a shock to me as well. We are not knowing that you and Miss Courtney were engaged? <laughs> no, you don't understand. I mean to coin a phrase. I've been given the boot. Si, si, yo. One right boot. One left boot. No, oh, no, one. Look, can't you understand? I mean I have been fired. I've been given the bullet. Ah, Santa Maria. She tried to shoot you. <laughs> no, I have been dismissed. Dismissed? Oh. Yes. Dismissed. You are leaving us? I'm afraid so. Oh, no. It's incredible, it's formidable, enfin. Why are you leaving? Well, Miss Courtney doesn't think I'm suitable. Ah, oh, that's... We go speak to her. <laughs> I'm afraid that speaking to her won't do any good at all. Okay. We twist her arms a little bit. <laughs> yeah. We tell her if she not let you stay, we work her over. Yeah. <laughs> We'll do nothing of the sort. We don't have mafia tactics in this country. But what is going to happen to us? Well, another teacher will be taking over the class, a Miss Hardacre. I'm already not liking her. It is not fair, and on your birthday. Yes, well, as they say in France, c'est la vie. Well, I've enjoyed meeting you all. I uh, wish you all every success with your studies in the future. Oh. Goodbye, Sully. Very oh. sorry to lose you. Well. Jamila? God happening. <laughs> Anna. Auf Wiedersehen. Max. Goodbye, Mr. Brown. <laughs> Taro. <clears throat> Good luck. Thank uh, you. You. <laughs> Juan. Yes, amigo. We let them. Taro. <laughs> Ranjit. I'm wishing you all you are wishing yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Giovanni. It's very sad. Now, please, Giovanni, you mustn't be upset. I can't help it. I'm <laughs> yeah, oh, blimey. You are starting me off now. <laughs> you damn fool. Come on, Ali. It's not the end of the world. Goodbye. Goodbye. Danielle? There will always be a place for you. Right here. <laughs> yeah, very kind of you. Well, uh, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Thank you for your um, presence, right. and uh, good luck. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. I thought you'd gone. Yeah, I was just collecting my things. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> now, as you are no doubt aware, Mr. Brown is no longer with us. Yes. Oh. It is making us very sad. Yes. I have telephoned your new teacher, Miss Hardacre, and she will be arriving shortly. In the meantime, I shall take the class. Oh. Now then, let's see how you're progressing. You with the turban. What is this? 
pencil. <laughs> it is not a pencil. It's looking like a pencil to me. Let's try again. What is this? A finger. <laughs> Did Mr. Brown teach you anything? Yes, please. He's making us work like the clippers. <laughs> Clappers. Oh, clippers or clappers. We are working very hard. Yes. yes. And we are all very sad he has gone. Yes. Yeah, he was so quiet now, yeah. please, quiet. It is really no concern of yours. I'm sure that you will find Miss Hardacre more than efficient. And after all, a woman can do everything a man can do. Not everything. I was speaking academically. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Courtney. Uh, there's a person out here wants to see you. What sort of person? Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> Is that new? Yes. Hardy car. Oh. I thought they were sending me a woman. I am a woman. <laughs> I do beg your pardon. It must have been the... Well, um, perhaps you'd like to come to my office and have a cup of coffee. No, no time for coffee. We must get started. Crack the whip. Show them who's boss. Keep them on their toes. And by the look of them, they need it. Beautifully put. But I think we ought to have a little chat first. Oh, very well. In the meantime, you can go on studying your books. Don't talk. Sit still. I'll be back immediately. <laughs> oh, blimey. What a funny woman we are having. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to like this new teacher. I think I go home. I, oh, I go home too. Nine! What is use of going home? You cannot learn the English at home. Maybe I find a way. There huh? is no way. I am thinking, if we make new teacher go away, perhaps Mr. Brown is coming back. And how you make new teacher go? Very easy. <laughs> That's no good. We get blood all over the class. <laughs> Much better we push her out of the window. Ah, it is looking like we are being stuck with her. We must do something. It is duty to obey erected authorities. Not so. Rules are made to be obeyed. Not even laws. It's bad law. Principles actional. Unjust. He's right. But what can we do? There is nothing we can do. Hey, I've got an idea. What idea? We have a strike. Yeah. Let's all have the strike. What is the strike? Does this mean you're going to be fighting? No, 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 no. A strike like the big onions. What onions? The trade onions. <laughs> I think your strike is not going to be working. What we are needing is to be revolting. And I am thinking you're already revolting. You are asking for a kick up the head. Hey, come on, silly. Let's not quarrel amongst ourselves, yes. huh? I know. Why not we all have a sit out? You mean a sit in? <laughs> Adopt policy of non cooperation. Por favor. You teach her a life in classroom. We no cooperate. No aspiration <laughs> resistance. For once, Japan, China, in uh, agreement, we no speak to new teacher. I like it. <laughs> We keep the trap shut. <laughs> Silencio, understand? Si. Sí. Not speaking. Not a word. Ah. Stum. That's right. Hey, the senora, she can't. I am your new teacher. And my name is Miss Hardacre. And I have come to drum English into your respective alien heads. And you have come here to learn. Understand? Good. Now, I will take your names. You, what's your name? <laughs> Are you deaf? <laughs> you, your name? You, name. I see. Well, I don't know how long you think you're going to keep this up, and I can assure you it won't make any difference to me. I'm just going to sit here until somebody speaks. <laughs> oh, John Brock, you have crushed my apple strudel. <laughs> I think I've got it off now. 
Well, I'll be sending you the bill, of course. I thought you might. Well, I wouldn't mind that coffee now. I'm so sorry. I've drunk it all. But you'll find a tea room down the corridor. Tea room? Tea room? You don't expect me to queue up with all those students? Oh, no, no. While I'm teaching here, I'll take my coffee in your office. Black, no sugar. <laughs> now, while I'm here, I think I'll have a look at your prospectus. The little I've seen, you could do with a great deal of reorganization. <laughs> It's me, Gladys, with your coffee and biscuits. Right, come in. Oh, you look harassed. I am harassed. Well, I suppose it's that new teacher, isn't it? Yes. The foreign students haven't spoken a word since Mr Brown left, with the result that Miss Hardacre is spending her time reorganising the entire school. She's already reduced two of the other teachers to tears, and she's caused the caretaker to hand in his notice. It's only a matter of time before she takes over my job. Well, why don't you get rid of her and ask Mr. Brown to come back? I can't do that. Why not? Well, not after having dismissed him. I have my pride. Mind you, if he asked if he could come back, I'd be only too happy to accept. <laughs> Ask to come back. But we miss you. Yes. Look, when I got your message to call here, I thought it was for something serious. But we are serious. Yes. If you ask Miss Courtney, she's going to have you back. Yes. No, I'm sorry, it's out of the question. If she wants me back, she'll have to ask me. Now, if that's all there is, I'll say goodbye. Oh, Mr. Oh. Brown! Hey, Mr. Brown! Oh, oh. I'm just uh, seeing something. I was just going to look in on your old class. <laughs> I, I was wondering... Wonder... Sorry. After you. No, 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 after you. Well, I was just wondering whether you'd consider coming back. I was just going to ask you if there was any chance of coming back. That's settled then. I thought you preferred uh, women teachers. I do. But Miss Hardacre was more masculine than most men I've met. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want your job back or don't you? Oh, yes. Good, you've got it. We win! We win! Mr. Brownies are coming back! Yay! Hello. 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 Well, if you'll all sit down, we've got rather a lot of catching up to do, I'm afraid. Excuse, please. Before we are doing that, we are all changing your birthday pens and buying you other gifts from Arabs. The Camden Arabs, you mean? Oh, yes, indeed. Here you are. Oh, thank you. A wallet. Hey, a wallet? I've got a wallet! Hey, I've got a wallet too! <laughs>